and racing down on the inside another colt jumped nicely and so did rattle your dags and uh, driving around the outside Bugsy Bangles up there and there followed off the track out back Bill further back there we go to Corbon Butsy further back up uh, to uh, Homebush Rocky around the corner the leader at the moment is another colt another colt will beat Bugsy Bangles out back Bill to third then we've got Homebush Rocky followed further back then on the inside rattle your dags Corbon Butsy go Tomo and a hoka hope at the tail there's the first on the card, and another Colt did bring its A game to the track today. 5.10 and $1.90 has got the money here. The one jumped out nicely, and uh, yeah, looked hard to beat off the inside, didn't it? Another Colt had the quickest time in the field, bar one. <laughs> Racing, Chambo missed it a bit. One of the best out, Dillmanstown to the lead. Dillmanstown followed out by another groom has got round. Now there's another one coming around as Trump up. That's running on nicely. They're followed after a gap. Chambo can't do it. Jack's a jewel out wide around the corner. And the leader is Dillmanstown. Trump up trying hard. Dillmanstown beat Trump up. Chambo got into third. Then we've got Butterbean. Further back out wide, Jack's a jewel. They're followed by Gold Star Chumley. And towards the tail, we had uh, Blazing Hot. And uh, that was one of the last there on crossing. Well, there we have it, race two, Dillmanstown. We've got a wee bit of a result here on the quaddy. Dillmanstown at 6.40. And racing, and oh, Best out, Starburst Terry's taken an absolute fly. Now, Hoka Kobe's close enough. Get it going around Swiss Ace the outside, and they're followed three lengths away by We Terra coming towards the corner. But Starburst Terry, a Hoka Kobe's trying to line it up. It's coming solidly now. A Hoka Kobe doing the better. We'll beat Swiss Ace along the inside. They were followed by Starburst Terry. Back we go, a Power Opal. They're followed back. We go, We are to no favours. The next one there on Cross and Captain's Choice, and that was back with Ringeting towards the tail. It's race three, and a Hoka Kobe has been too strong in the end for the blue, a Hoka Kobe. <laughs> And racing, oh, he missed the jump a little today. Home was Howard and best out would have been Corborn Witch. Corborn Witch and going up now, we've got Chloe's Prodigy and uh, Home was Howard's got to third now along the rail. They're followed further back there by Botany Seaton into the back. They run a length and a half round the outside trying to make a bit of ground up there as Corborn War. They're followed by Thumbprint Tony and dropping off now as Corborn Floyd on the corner. Corborn Witch, those going great guns a length and a half clear. Trying very hard as Chloe's Prodigy but up they come. Corborn Witch, Corborn Witch, Chloe his prodigy, five lengths away, third was Corborn War, there followed by Botany Seaton, Little Gap, the others uh, Chloe's prodigy, uh, at least um, Lagoon Twist dropped off and there followed back we go there too, uh, the next one there would have been towards the town thumbprint toning Corborn Floyd there we have it, and Corborn Witch has got home here, and uh, thankfully, thankfully we had a bit of cover in our quaddy, and that was the one we put in, wasn't it Corborn Witch Gee, I didn't think Homebush Howard would go as bad as he did. He missed the jump. He's flashed into third at the first corner. Gee, he was beaten a long way up. He was beaten a long way up. <laughs> And racing, Laudable jumped out nicely and so too did Norman Jewell trying to get to the lead and does and here's About Town zipping around the outside, looks to be the big danger, About Town will head off Norman Jewell and there clear from Botany win around the corner though and About Town dashes away, About Town by about four will beat Norman Jewell and third Botany win, then there's a gap there to Red Hot Fury, they're followed on the inside by Judith Mary, Laudable disappointing, back we go no mayhem and Hannah the Spanner, uh, she's ended up at the tail. 
has raced five, and uh, yeah, about town from that wide draw. Three nineties, closed off favourite, but he's been too good. Ready? Racing. Ginger Turtle jumped out, not as quick as No Ambition, and that goes to the lead and through on the inside, caught the bell, but round the turn into the straight, No Ambition's the leader. Out by a couple of lengths, Stitch Up up there, they're followed by No Security, a length and a half, the Ginger Turtle, three lengths away, caught the bell, round the turn out of the straight, No Attempt looking to run on, further back along the inside there, we've got No Taste, and out the back is Memory Lapse, but No Ambition's right on the bunny, out by 608, and on the point of the home corner, this is all over, I think, No Ambition well clear, Running to second, running on, no security, and down on the inside there, stitch up, but up they come. And no ambition getting tired, but it's five in front. No ambition will beat no security. Up for third, no attempt, then stitch up. They're followed by Court the Bell. There's a gap to the others. Further back there we go, memory lapse. Gee, Ginger Turtle dropped out of it, and no taste has wound up at the tail of the field. But no ambition, 540 and 140. <laughs> And racing, no pride, slow best out was uh, Paper Bond to the lead and round the outside. Uh, showing up there, Sterling Dan Wide. Followed up there, Zebediah. And then a length and a half round the outside. Barnacle Bullet trying to get into it, but off the track, no pride into the straight. They come, hitting the front, Sterling Dan, and right down the outside, no pride. No pride, Sterling Dan, and cutting through on the inside, Zebediah. Close up there, Barnacle Bullet, not far away behind them, Paper Bond there, followed by No Leaf Clover. And towards the tail, we had tea time. Here's the first to play six, terrific finish, but uh, right down the outside, I think no pride has cut them down here. And racing, Jemima T wasn't that well away and best out, Birchbrook and uh, over on the outside moving up is Runzola, G was Genie getting handy and through on the inside Jemima T up the missing away, he's run through to about fourth, they're followed by Where's the Gold out wider, a length and a half the two to Zulu Chanel, getting back a bit blushing Bell and up the back, Toddy's a flyer across the top, Birchbrook the leader Birchbrook and right there Runzola Jemima T just in behind them looking to get through on the inside and down the outside a late charge from uh, G was Genie up they come and uh, you'll find that uh, I think run Zola now run Zola Birchbrook Jemima T and roaring home blushing bell gee was Jenny back behind them with Zulu Chanel they followed back we go where's the gold and Toddy's a flyer back there as well terrific finish <laughs> And racing and uh, jumping nicely, a bound and also a new and driving through on the inside, collected money right up there in the centre. Karamas getting handy right behind the big money around the corner, but a bound in front, second start back. But here's Karamas. Oh, he's back to his brilliant best today. Karamas, he just rockets past them. Karamas by three will beat a bound. Big money to third, then collected money. They're followed after a gap there, knocking up quickly Porky Pig. And uh, then we had on the level back there with Mary Marlow uh, to towards the tail of the field. Karamas, 5.31.50. Oh, he was, uh, he jumped good, didn't he? He was up handy, handy for him on the point of the home corner. <laughs> And 
racing. Magic Emily fairly well away and uh, one of the best out is going to be Game Girl and showing up there wide out. Stolen Money and he's ripped around the outside to grab the lead. So this is going to be interesting. Stolen Money. Now Trust Issues coming after the favourite. They're followed back after a gap of five lengths. Now we've got Game Girl and running on from the back there are Power Rocky. They're followed out wide on the track. A power Amy. She starts to storm into it. They're followed well back. Magic Emily can't do it around the corner. Stolen Money and along the inside Trust Issues doing the better. Trust Issues will beat the fast finishing Opawa Amy and third at the line Stolen Money. They're followed by Opawa Rocky. Magic Emily never got into the race. They're followed back we go Lagoon Bell. Game Girl knocked up and that was back towards the tail of the field. There we go. Race 10 Trust Issues the winner. <laughs> And racing down on the inside, Grand Apache jumped out along there with Bo's business going to the lead. Now Little Rikas is coming around them wide out now, getting right into it there. Followed back we go there, Chokehold and behind them along the rail is Corbon Jelly around the corner. Here's Little Rikas booming through between runners, hits the lead and Little Rikas will score. Then on the inside, Grand Apache and outside that Bo's business, close up their business affair. They're followed by the next one there was Corbon Jelly, back we go Rick's Terror and uh, Chokehold towards the tail. Race 11 and the favourite prevails. Little Regus is too good. <laughs> And racing, Zorba the Greek slow, one of the best out, onesie straight to the lead and round the outside, showing up there increasing, and this followed through on the inside, Zorba the Greek gets a run through now, trying to run into a token stew around the corner, increasing, set the lead though and away it goes, it's up by two or three, increasing, getting away to beat onesie, token stew to third, they were followed by Zorba the Greek, and then back behind them then were followed no magic, very white was no jealousy, and towards the tail there, Corborn Arrow. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. 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 I